Hey, so I came in here and I saw a spider hanging from a thread just in the middle of the uh, way. Sorry, <sighs> slightly out of breath. There was just a spider hanging in the middle of this room right here, passageway, whatever, stairs. And it landed on the floor right there. And I realized when you look up at that light, a whole bunch of black specks. And that made me realize, you know what those are? Spiders. There are a bunch of spiders living in that light. So I thought that was just really cool. <sighs> Sorry for whispering. Quiet hours. Shh. Alright, so, back in my room. It's quiet hours, so I couldn't really talk that loud. I can't, I can't a little bit more in here because it doesn't echo as much. I mean, you can still hear it through the door, but it doesn't, like, echo down the hallway and through the stairs and through the hallway and down the stairs, whichever makes more sense to you. <sighs> I'm out of breath a little bit. I just got back from Jen's. I walked the whole way, then up the stairs, and... <clears throat> sucks. Uh, so I pulled a prank on Jen just now. It was funny. I changed her birth date to March 27th on the Facebook. So in a couple days, she's going to be getting all the happy birthday messages from the people who don't know it's actually not her birthday. So that's going to be really funny. And I would have gotten away with it too, but she walked in the room. And I can't keep a straight face worth crap. <laughs> so she caught that. And tried to change it back. But you can't do that on Facebook. You have to wait a couple days. So it depends. Is that couple days enough time to change back the name? Or is it not? It's going to be very interesting to find out. It's like 2 a.m. I have class tomorrow. First class in spring break. And I've got a meeting with my advisor to schedule my classes for the next semester and the summer semester and all that junk. So yeah, fun. I'm not going to get much sleep. I was going to record town today, but I decided not to. Earlier today, I had something set up, but Miss Liz uh, had more pressing issues to attend to, so I wasn't able to do it then, but I'm able to do it now. I have the details that are in the bottom of the contest thing in the description um, for the Rooster Teeth pack and my personal pack. So this is going to run a bit long. I'm just going to flip through the cards and I will have links on the cards if they're referencing it. Obviously I'm going to reference the, all the Rooster Teeth cards will have, well most of the Rooster Teeth cards will have references so I'm going to put links on them. It's going to be a longer vlog than usual with more effort put into it. I'm going to have to actually do the links on all that crap so yay me. So. I'm just going to get right to it. And these are in order for both of the packs. So, um, actually, I'm going to pull up my computer really quick. I have a couple of stories to tell you. Not really stories, but I was recording Town of Salem last night. And I had a couple of absolutely phenomenal rounds. Like, they were just marvelous. However, comma, due to the fact that it was a very, very long video without me cutting it, the file corrupted. And I don't have screen capture of any of it. So, that is highly unfortunate. The reason I need to pull up my computer is because I've, I, uh, when I found out the data was corrupted, I wrote down what happened. So, I'm going to be telling those stories as I show the cards. So the first one, I was um, the sheriff. Uh, my name was Captain Obvious, where um, I figured I would, it was an experiment where I would just name the obvious. And I figured the town would kill me off pretty quick. And that did happen, or the mafia killed me off, I guess. Something like that, mafia, serial killer, somebody killed me off. But 
later in the game, the Retributionist decided to bring me back to life, and there's three people left, and um, we there's uh, me and three other people left. Two are mafia, and we hung one of the mafia, and won that game event uh, after the next night. So that was just a really close call. Retributionist brought me back at the last second. And due to my brilliant deduction skills, uh, we won that round. Um, the next two rounds, I used the name Tyrannosaurus Wrecked, which I will be using in a future video, as well as potentially Captain Obvious. Um, first time I was the investigator. Um, so the random town died right off the bat. So... Uh, Night two, I knew exactly who the godfather was, because, you know, leader against man is, is either mayor or godfather, and the random town was dead, but wasn't mayor, so I knew exactly who the godfather was, and I was lobbying for it the whole time, of course, I was since I was the only one lobbying for it, uh, people were calling me the executioner, and that lasted all the way to, like, the end of the bloody game. Um, eventually, he was hung, and the town ended up winning. So, yay. Um, the second game, I was the Godfather. A little bit ironic. Uh, the framer left right off the bat. And the Mafia also gave himself away really early on, which really sucked. We, I had a crap Mafia. So I was basically on my own. Um, so I basically played XE all game. Just lobbying after a certain person. Came down to the last three people, and I used my Executioner cover. Um to vote the town against the actual executioner who I happened to be in cahoots with just because I knew he was executioner he didn't know there was godfather or something like that but we knew there was one mafia one town one executioner I used my role at my cover as executioner to convince the other townie to hang the actual executioner and then like at the last minute and I immediately voted guilty and then like on this on um, like when it was like you know five four three on the second second I'm like nope abstain and the other person, so the other person was the only one who voted guilty, and I won that round, and I helped the executioner win that round too. So, yeah, that was the Rooster Teeth pack. I'm gonna be going through and putting links in where all those are, and here's my personal pack. Uh, so I've got a couple of other experiments. I've actually gotten feedback on some of my rounds of Town of Salem, and I've gotten some feedback on. Uh, what people enjoyed, what they didn't enjoy. I don't have any feedback on the music yet. I don't know if underlaying that dubstep music in the middle pieces is good or not. But nobody's told me otherwise yet. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I've found out that the experiment rounds are actually really good. I try not to do that so much because I try to actually play the game. But, peop but the person who gave me feedback said they really enjoyed the experiment round, particularly the group round, where I just, it was, I had a hypothesis and I saw what the town would do. So that's what I tried to do with the Captain Obvious round. And it worked, and it would have been a really good video if the file wasn't corrupted. So, yeah, that happened. Ugh, I'm, on, I'm out of breath and then I'm talking all this time. Which I'm more out of breath and more out of breath and more out of breath. And I just re-auditioned for... Not re-auditioned, but... I auditioned for another voice acting part. Uh, one of the people I sent off an audition to contacted me and said, Hey, could you... I really liked your voice. Can you also audition for this part? Because I think you'd be really good at it. So, I did that. That was today. So, my voice box has been really, really, really... Here, here's your link reference right here. So my voice box has really had a workout today. What are these? Oh, soft cards. This, these are what was in the safe from Cards Against Humanity's holiday bullshit from this year. So yeah, that's all that I really wanted to show you. And almost done. There. There's your details. 
Um, and here's your black card for the contest thing. Whoa. Huh. Yeah. What is it good for? Tell me on Twitter. Take a picture of the white card with your face. Post it on my Twitter. Details are down below. <sighs> Classes start tomorrow. Spring break is officially over. Hope they do. So yeah, at least it's going to be a relatively easy week this week, and Miss Elizabeth is on spring break, so she'll be coming down as well. <sighs> I'm just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. So I'm just going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching me and my magical self. And I will definitely see you all next time. Thanks for dealing with my BS. <laughs> Bye.